Hello there, everyone, and thank you for rejoining me here in Hearts of Iron for using the No Setback DLC, in which we need to talk about the true enemy. Though independent, the Polish Lithuanian Commonwealth has never truly managed to shake off the chains of imperialism from her nation. Germans and Soviets alike have ambitions and designs to entrap the Polish Lithuanian Commonwealth into their respective empires with little or no concern for us and our right to self determination. Though many are eager to fight a war on all fronts to maintain Polish Lithuanian independence, we must decide among these two powers is the most pressing threat and take appropriate measures to prepare for invasion. Um, I can't trust the Reich, and I can't trust these guys, so... We've already started building ourselves up quite a bit here, with a lot of forts, so we can't trust the Reich, so we'll see what happens. Mm. Yeah. If anything, we might, I hope we can join the common turn, but they might still do the Malta Ribbon Drop Pact. We'll see, we're still doing the, the invisible power, indivisible power of the state. Yes, if you want to read this, read this again, please go right ahead, so that'd be very, very nice. And then, formalize the Balkan Entente? Probably not. Beyond the Baltic, probably be the best thing to do. Though someone insists that the Baltic Entente is enough to protect our small nation from invasion, we all truly know how this is to be a fallacy. The Allies aided us in 1918 in our struggle for self-determination. Perhaps we would not be so foolhardy to expect them to come to our aid yet again. So yeah, we're still building ourselves up here, trying to build more forts, trying to build more factories, build more supply bases, especially down here, but... Yeah, it's not looking too good for us. Um, and we got quite a few divisions here. It's not bad on the front. Is it enough to guard against the entire Axis? No, absolutely not. At least at the time of this recording. But no, not good. If anything, you probably go Ambusher. Yeah, it's just... We gotta be as defensive as possible here. We got a lot of political power, which is nice. And we're ready for total mobilization and such like that. And we're going to go ahead and grab... Mm, mm, I kind of want this one. I'll go grab that guy. But yeah, we're definitely going to need some more uh, help here. Oh boy, that's not going to be easy. Uh, but we got better guns, which is nice. It is... 1939 August. Um, we're still trying to build way more divisions. Way, 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 way more divisions. Even though we're out of infantry equipment. We need more trucks. We need some more support equipment. We're just lacking everything here. Oh, we're lacking so much. Uh, thank you there. Oh, did you already do it? Okay, that's fine. Hurry up right there as well. That'll be good. Cool, cool, cool. More naval stuff, which is... Okay... Uh, base strike carriers. Ah, uh, do trade interdiction because you can. Why not? Um, yeah. It's not good. Oh, peace conference. Is that China? Oh! Oh! Okay, well, there goes America. Now they're fascists under the French. Okay, um, that's not good. How did they lose the... How... Okay, America's a fascist puppet now. Oh, get a piece of Russians, though. Oh. Offer basing rights. Occupation. In the event that the peace nation invades, they'll be given the right to become a subject rather than fight. Huh. Okay. We could appease them. Prepare for the inevitable, though. But we have to capitulate. For basing rights. No, it's not in a faction. Uh. Well. I mean, I guess we might as well do that one. That's really not good for this campaign. Um, get some of that. Uh, Really, 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 really not good. Especially with Germany, Romania, Hungary, Croatia basically, Greece, France, and America all together. Well, they became the Confederate States. Alright. Um. Yeah. Yeah, that's not ideal. That's really, really, really not ideal. But we level 4 forts pretty much all over the place, which is pretty not bad. Honestly, level 5 is probably where we have to be. Um, I'm not sure how hard that they will actually try to strike us, especially in the mountains. But anything here is probably good to do. Well, let them do that for now. Uh, keep making the supply bases and uh, stuff like that for now. That's a good deal. Uh, stability, anti-fascist raids. We can do some of the stuff here. Not too much. But beyond the Baltic... Honestly, I kind of don't mind appeasing the commies. I mean, you'll still get... Oh, we're actually losing daily change. Of course, they are trying to influence us a, a bit as well. Railways, mm. mm. greater thingy. Nation is power. Victory of the Simos is nothing but an obstruction to the power of the king. If we were to build a nation capable of defending itself, we must grant absolute power to the king, pretty much. Royal reform, we gotta grab that too. Yeah, we definitely have to. Um, yeah, that's not good. I don't want to be sandwiched between these two. Oh! Oh, boy! Oh boy. I'm pretty sure we won't be able to hold out against the Soviets and the Germans completely. 
Which does kind of suck. Um. Yeah. I mean, if that's the case, I can always throw... You see, you guys over here, too. Head on over there. Yeah. Uh, it's not good. Oh, ultimatum. They are pressuring us to sign a mutual assistance treaty. With them, which would give them the right to the station force in Saturday territory. It's nothing but a thinly veiled attempt to annex the country, but we can offer little resistance to the forces like stationed on our border. The game will end for you. Well, we can't ha do that. Obviously, we can't do that. Are we fully entrenched? Do we have any planes we can throw on our guys? Uh, a little bit. Not very much, though. Um... I think it'll be a crapshoot, isn't it? Well, let's see what happens. If this campaign ends very prematurely, then so be it. Whatever it is, what it is. I'm trying to play as Poland, especially a historical when Stalin doesn't have a like a coup, and Germany doesn't kill itself either. Not great. The game will end for you. Well, obviously we can't take that bad. Hope we're dug in really well. I've been building forts all along the wrong side of the area here, though. Um, I'm not sure how fast we can build. Oh, actually, these are pretty. Level 1 forts are pretty easy to build, actually, so. Uh, that's not too bad. There you go. Please don't tell me it's Germany. Okay, just, just Soviet Union. We can hold out for as long as we possibly can, so. We only have 94 factories as well. Mm. You're almost done with that one. You're almost done with that one, too. Improved already's not bad. That's actually pretty nice. Anti Soviet pack. Oh, with the anti Comintern pack, the Reich has secured fertile grounds for diplomatic means for containing the Soviet menace. However, the pack does not constitute a military alliance, nor does it contain well defined obligations for the signatories. Hitler now seeks to extend the pact to an anti Soviet coalition, a binding agreement to join in either war in any signatories enters into a state of war with the USSR. While substantially more dangerous, and likely to bring any, an end to any diplomacy we still may maintain with the Soviets, uh, this is also a chance to ensure that we have strong allies under the case of war. Yes! Yes! Oh, please go to war with us. Please. Okay, thank you, Hitler. Thank you, Hitler. Hitler. Oh my gosh, we signed as soon as... Oh my goodness. Oh, we could join the Allies. Or we join the Axis. The Axis would be really strong, though. Anti-communist groups. That would not be bad. Um, call pact members to war. As just as we suspected, we signed the anti-Soviet pact. We now find ourselves in a state of total war, or at least a state of war, with the USSR. It is time for his co-signatory to honor the promise and join us. We sign this, and then they immediately attack. Oh, that's so nice. Our foresight pays off. Come on, Germany. Come on, come on, please. Oh, they are fighting them. Nice. Italy came in, too. Confederate States. This is a this is a, the weirdest World War II we have so far. We've had. I've been building forts on the wrong border. Everyone's joining the Axis. And UK rejects us. Okay. Much to the dismay of Ming Dalgus III, the British Foreign Office has decided not to pursue a military relationship with the Polish Lithuanian Commonwealth. Even Spain joined us. Okay, everyone's in the Axis here. This is a bit ridiculous. Okay. I did not think this was going to happen. Almost all of continental Europe, the main players here, are in the Axis now, including us. We've been building up forts on the wrong side. Oh. Mm, Germany. Mm -mm. Around the Magno. Uh, well, okay, that's fine. Um... Even Finland joined the Axis. Holy crap. Oh, yeah. Thanks, America. Oh, yeah. Thanks, guys. Well, can we push in? Can we actually do anything here? Yeah, maybe. Anti-Soviet Pact. Uh, the Reich has offered to welcome us into their faction so we may better coordinate against communist threat. Envoys to form us as alliance of war with the capital. Our fate lies with others. This is very weird. But okay then. Total mobilization. Get those women in the factories. Okay then. Actually, we took the German divisions. We just killed them off. Uh... Well... This is absolutely not the way I expected this to go at all. I'm going to 17,000 versus 89,000. Okay, they join. Okay, so maybe we won't find it. This is. I. Oh, they're nice and great. They're, that's beautiful. But, anyways. Conf, oh, it's not even the Confederate States. It's the Confederated States. Oh, that's so cringe. Okay, anyways. Oh, uh, whatever. Yeah, um. Wait, who are you fighting? Oh, you're fighting the UK. Oh, no. I'm not interested in the UK fight. 
Do we try to join them? They did reject us, so I'm not sure what they expected from us. Oh, this guy's a common sympathizer. Oh, you piece of doo-doo. Yeah, there goes Luxembourg. Um, honestly, allies? You're honestly probably not gonna... Okay. Yeah. I, it might be a little late for them, especially with America gone. Um, we even have Japan helping us out, too. It's not bad. If all of Vladivostok, that's pretty good, I'd say. That's pretty darn good, right? Do you have anyone else's field marshal? No, not really. Okay, this is very, just so weird. What? Why do you accept Finnish demand? What do you, uh, You just killed off your own guys almost? Come on, guys. We lost 23,000, we killed off 121,000. Oh, oh. Oh, I forgot about our guys still training. That's alright. Here, go ahead and do that too. Good luck with that. Um, 65% war sports, not bad. Good worker conditions for more stability, I guess. Um, sure. Why not? I guess we can claim Greater Lithuania, the Greater Commonwealth. Yeah, Emmerlands, Königsberg, Oberschlesen. I'm not sure we're going to be able to actually really do the Greater Commonwealth. We'll see, though. Well, Gibraltar? We can always leave the faction, I guess. State media, though. It's not bad. German interest down there. Royal reform. Uh, party politics plagued the Lithuanian state for so long, restricting the powers of the king. The new Lithuanian king must, above, must be above the squabbling of political parties and said belong only to Lithuania herself. Supplies aren't looking too great now, are they? Hmm. You guys go in there and circle that division. That'd be probably pretty swanky. All I care about is defeating the USSR. We can defeat the USSR. Then we can maybe abandon the faction and then probably die, but do okay as well. I don't know. We'll see. Oh, oh, wow. Look at this. Portugal and Greater Portugal. Norway join the Allies. War austerity. No, we're pretty good. I'll also grab some of that as well. Joint planning. Oh, well, whatever. Oh, we need way more guns. Yeah. We need more resources. Nation is power. Royal reform. Corporatist economy is not bad. State media? Uh, claim greater... Uh, Lithuania. State media, I guess. Too often the publishings of newspapers are filled to the brim with fascist and communist propaganda. The general populace must be encouraged instead to read state-approved publications. The only reliable source for the truth. Yes. Yes, please. Yes, 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 please. All right, everyone. So here we're at, and I've just launched another attack against the USSR. Uh, they actually took out all of Romania, but then we just got them back, and I sent my divisions back up north to go up north. I uh, lost about 100,000 to the Soviets in fighting, and the Soviets have lost about 400,000 10 to us. We've already gone ahead and done claim Greater Lithuania, though. The Lithuania we know today is a mere shadow of the Grand Duchy of Lithuania that came before. The Commonwealth describes more than just a union of Poland and Lithuania. It is a union of Poles, Lithuanians, Ukrainians, and Belarusians, a corporatist economy. The West expects swift economic liberalism within the Lithuanian state. Ananta Smetona, however, much prefers the control and centralization brought by a corporate model. Now, I really, really want to do this with the Greater Commonwealth uh, focus, but... We need to control everything here, which means we have to beat the Axis, which means, yeah, it's not going to be good. Yeah, I'm not sure I was supposed to do that. Well, or at least Schlesien, or I mean Schlesien, and then Königsberg, or Prussia, pretty much. The ambitions for the Commonwealth go far beyond the mere historical borders of the long-gone kingdom. The Commonwealth in the hearts of the Poles is a great imperial power, a multicultural empire which shines from sea to sea. But after this one, uh, I'll probably exploit the International Bank. As a member of the International Bank, Antana Smetona is, a is in a prime position to exploit the banking system for the benefit of the state. In these times of impending war, what choice do we have? And we should be doing okay here. I mean, you can see, the Reich's doing really okay up here. Honestly, I think I'm just going to take probably all the Soviet Union to just puppet them. Except take a lot of the territories that we need. We'll probably make like one big old Siberian state, maybe, and then... Yeah, probably, that's probably what we're going to do, just because... If we want to take out the Reich, really... um. We're going to need to do that, because it's going to be difficult fighting, basically, North America and all the Germans together, if we want to even do that. I, we might not even do that. Well, so we'll see. We'll definitely see. Um, yeah. We'll definitely see. I, I don't know. I, I don't know if it's possible for us to actually do it like this. And they might just want to kill us off afterwards anyway, so. Not looking good. What do we have over here? Anything? Infantry expert? 
Yeah, you might as well. You might as well go. I'll go ambusher because we'll probably still need people in defense anyways, so that'd be fine. I really don't want to fight the allies either, so that'd be good. As we are going to attempt to continue building ourselves up here somehow, some way. Um, make sure we've got plenty of uh, roads around here. Roads are still pretty important. Uh, 60% and keep getting a million as well. We do not have enough research or any, enough resources, so let's come over here. Uh, 39, get some more construction speed and get some more extraction as well very, 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 very soon too. Uh, let's go over here too. What do we have? Ah. Logistical focus. Um, that's pretty good. Well-planned attack. I always go that one, which is really useful. Nutrition assault. Reconnaissance. It's just that supply is so bad. Division training time. Organization loss when moving. Um, elastic defense and overwhelming fire. Honestly, let's go elastic defense maybe. Elastic defense. I want to try something different. As much as I love that one a lot, we'll probably go this one more max entrenchment just because for in the future we are going to get uh, destroyed by the Germans probably if we want to do that. So we'll see. But overall, not too bad. We got a lot of PP though. War bonds, we want to do that one. And war propaganda. Why not? Because we can. Nice. Still kind of, war powers act. We stand at the age of new dawn. Our ex commissary at Ukraine. Yeah, no, I'm sorry, but Ukraine, we're going to take everything here in the end. Yeah, we're going to have to. Oh, wow. Are, are some of our allies, yeah, they're doing force attack. Not bad. Not a bad idea. Not a terrible idea. Cool. All right, go ambusher as well. We're probably going to honestly need it. Yeah, overall, that's not too bad. Mm, 1.42 million. Yeah. Supplies, it's, it's pretty bad. Oh, we got Moscow, though. And, of course, we, took, we did take Leningrad. A lot of stock has fallen. we got plenty of manpower for now. Women are in the workplace, which is fine, too. Demagogue, backroom backstabber. Um, that one's okay. It's not really worth it. Compassion, gentlemen. Improve relations. We don't really care about that. Honestly, we've got nothing else to do. Just do that one, then. I'd love to go to close economy, but we cannot. Material designer. Air Force stuff. Light aircraft. I guess you might as well. Actually, can you still do this stuff on the left side here? Yeah, because, oh, we can do, seek access investments. Or new allied trade. Well, it wouldn't be too bad. We do. We still got all this stuff to do as well. I'm going to get the extra research slot, but at this point, is it even possible? Maybe. Let's see, what do you have up here? Infantry specialist. Do we already have an infantry specialist? Yeah, I think so. Eh, it's all right. All right, anything else? Better cast? Yes, please. Got plenty of anti tank for now. Building up the roads quite a bit, which is very nice actually. So we can build even faster. Nice, 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 nice. We've lost what? Not even not even two hundred thousand yet. We've killed off over half a million. Which is pretty awesome. Pretty darn awesome if I do say so myself. Oh wow, what's going on up here? Oh, there's just casually twenty seven divisions trapped up here. It's not bad. Help them out if you can. And by help them out I mean kill them off. Which is always a nice thing to do. Fighters, bombers, scouts. Uh, if we have them, I mean, we can always use the extra ones in stockpile and just do something like this. Don't kill yourself off too much. Just enough. Nice. Not bad. Are we out of any of the equipment? Yeah. Uh, does anyone else have more equipment? We'll gladly take it. I'll gladly take the equipment. Exploit them, yes. One, two, three is not bad. Um, get more civvies for now as well, just because I want to trade them away for more. Oh, we're good on that. Oh, we're good on that too. Well, I'm also grab some some of this then. Thank you. And grab some of this too. Nice. We're gonna actually produce things at normal speeds or normal quantities. And then we need way more guns, way more arty, way more support equipment. Oh my goodness, not boy no. And what's on our? These are artillery divisions, huh? Mm, these are the divisions we're really using. I want logistics, but anti-tank might still be very good, especially if we do end up fighting the Germans. Go and do that anyways. It's fine for now. Supplies was just so bad, though. Whew. Stalingrad is the capital, which is fine, 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 fine. Um, ship stuff won't really matter. Tank designer, I guess. Don't really need it. Yeah, after this one, attract workers of Vilnius. Probably renew allied trade. Yeah, just because we get the allied investments. We've been relying on British trade and military support since the inception of our state, and it would be foolhardy of us to abandon that now. We must attract allied investments to our nation if we're to once again survive the onslaught of the Germans and Russians encroaching on our borders. Well, we'll do the best we possibly can. No guarantees, but 
We'll do the best we can. They're up to 154 divisions. They're about to capitulate, too. They lose Stalingrad? No, they haven't. Oh, now they did. Is that it for them? No, it's not. Only 87% of the way there. Yeah, I'm sorry. I don't know. I'm probably going to be really game. I don't want to give them some territory over here. Give, like, Japan, like, what? The trans Muir area? Far Eastern Republic, maybe? So. Yeah. I don't know if I really want to fight the Axis, though. I mean, if we do, it's going to be quite a bit of time before we do anything else. So, yeah, I'm going to make sure that we consolidate all this area before we actually go fight, because I need, we need Russia still to exist, but we need to claim a lot of stuff here, so, just in case, we'll read a lot of focuses. British aircraft manufacturing, efforts at domestic aviation designs have been lukewarm at best thus far. So far, the Air Force has relied on aircraft seized from Germany and Soviet forces, but we must begin domestic production of aircraft if we were to survive, and the British Air Force may be the key to attaining victory, maybe? Vilnius Ford Industry. Ford Motor Company has done a, fi done a fine job providing mass-produced affordable motor vehicles to the Americans and other allied nations throughout the world. If we should establish a Ford manufacturing in Vilnius, we'll be able to uh, both provide vehicles for our own army, make a tidy profit, exporting them to the West. Ah, uh, see. More line auction. Very good. More organization. Oh, yes, please. And uh, increase allied shipments. Uh, since 1918, the Lithuanian army has been equipped with shipments sent to the US to us from Great Britain, and should make efforts to make the Allies understand that unless shipments are drastically increased, Lithuania may become subject to another Soviet public government. Vilnius Kroslev Motors, Kroslev Motors, with foreign investments now arrived within our nation in production of automobiles and reasonable efficiency, we may be able to collaborate with a Kroslev Motor company to create original designs for use within the Lithuanian army. Well, to plead, and then we'll attract workers of Vilnius. The workers of Lithuania are spread disparately across the countryside, often working in the outdated agricultural sector. If we want to industrialize our nation for war, we must attract workers to the factories of Vilnius. Rebuild the Vilnius forts. During the independence wars, Vilnius was more of a fort than a city. Although the fortifications have largely been dismantled and forgotten, they must be rebuilt and maintained ready for war. On China education. The Lithuanian educational system has long been strict restricted by our desperate population centers, but now though with the rural folk moving closer to the cities, we should become more capable of efficiently educating the Lithuanian youth and technology sharing. We have produced many of the partners our partners' equipment already, but perhaps by studying their designs we'll be able to significantly improve uh, native Lithuanian designs. Um that's a pretty good dude as well. Green has made a country rich from the trade of the Soviet's allies and our fellow Baltic states alike, and we do well to invest in more into this industry by investing in farms across the nation. And we'll definitely, 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 definitely have to do some of the stuff up here. Anti-communist stuff, integrate the opposition. Which actually is not bad either. Patriotic socialism is not great, but whatever. And the Force Brothers. We hear stories of anti-communist militants all across the Baltic states, hiding in the trees in the winter and conducting raids after raid on the occupying armies. We must establish communications with these freedom fighters and do what we can to support, uh, support their efforts on Baltic soil. Because we're going to need that when we're defending against everyone who wants to kill us. And there's going to be a lot of people who want to kill us quite a bit. Which sucks. And look at all this god-awful supplies around here. Um, do we even want to be here? Like, it, it's so bad. It is god-awful. Victory points, please. Victory points. Yeah, I don't want to fight the allies, please. We're going to need a much bigger army. Yeah, that's why I'm thinking get some more sub, uh, logistic companies on these guys. That might not be bad. Where are the supply hubs here, too? Do we take any? There's one right here, which is good. Oh, Kazan is... A, yeah, no, go for Kazan immediately. Yeah, letting the AI do this is probably a really bad idea, but whatever. Still not even 200,000, but they're going to capitulate soon anyways, 90%, so... Not bad! Oh, what's down here? Anything? No? Okay. Oh, and I think they have just capitulated... So, we're, I'm going to speed it off screen. Obviously, it's not going to be super fair to everyone else, but to make sure that we can actually survive, I'm going to go do a lot of this stuff off screen and and probably end the episode here. So, if you enjoyed the video, leave a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in this very short video, and I will see you tomorrow, as we will probably do the best we possibly can before completely dying to the Axis and the German Reich. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.